Oh, someone is going to be emotional <clears throat> or they're using emotionally manipulative tactics. Okay. So this could be someone who's trying to stay attached to you using emotions. Um, they could be trying to tap into your energy. They could be um, <clears throat> trying to get back into your energy field. If you've done a cord cutting or cut them off and they haven't had access for a while, um, this person is trying to reconnect a soul tie or some sort of twin flame connection, something like that. <clears throat> There's some sort of spiritual connection here to this person that you had. And they are trying to use emotions to reattach themselves to your energy. You've had them blocked out for a while. You may have had to do multiple like cord cuttings or return to sender or something like that. Um, you've possibly had to learn how to protect yourself spiritually so this person could not penetrate your energetic field. They are definitely trying to get in your emotions. <clears throat> this could be in the form of invoking some sort of fear or memories. Um, they can be trying to communicate something to you telepathically. Um, this person really thought that you would just be there for them when they got around to you. Like, this person likes to keep some sort of attachment. This person won't let you go, man. <clears throat> this person was also a hoe. They slept around a lot. They have a lot of beds under their belt. They could have even said that about you. Someone's painting a picture. You're painting a picture. You could be an artist. Or you could be very creative. Whatever you're doing, they could be watching you. Watching your art, your creativity, um, your social media. Like, the life you're painting for yourself is what I'm getting. Like, someone is watching you paint this life for yourself and your determination to pull yourself up out of a rut, out of a bad situation. This person slept with a lot of people at work. Whether it's at their work, uh, could have been people even you work with. Um, <clears throat> this person might have even slept with people for work. They might have even said that about you, which would be prostitution. Um, and no shade to anyone who does that legally, like... You know, if you live in a state where that's legal or anything, like, that's, you know, not my business. Um, <clears throat> but this would be for someone who does not do that. Like, that, someone would use that as, like, an insult or something like that. They were trying to get some sort of footage or evidence. Or there was some sort of footage or evidence. Someone could have lost their job because they could have gotten caught sleeping with somebody at work. Like, um, having sex on company time. Oh. Someone spent a lot of time alone in isolation. They could have even wanted you to feel like you were alone and isolated, maybe because they were sleeping with everybody but you. <laughs> they could have been trying to get some sort of um, camera footage of you and say that's what you were doing so that you would be alone and you wouldn't have anyone to turn to, like everyone would turn their backs on you. So people could have started treating you differently, like at a job setting, at work. Um, you might have even lost your job if this person was saying that about you, spreading rumors about you. Maybe this person was connected to someone that you worked with. This person could have even worked with you. Um, this person could have been your coworker at one time. <clears throat> There's some sort of soul connection to this person. This masculine's watching. They think it's funny. Like, this this is like a thrill for them. Like, to watch you. To try to manipulate you. <clears throat> they could be into some sort of magic or spell work as well. They could be being controlled by some sort of spirit. They could have been trying to attach one to you. They're doing this to a mother figure. Or there's a mother figure that thinks this is funny, that's watching and helping this person. <clears throat> yeah. 
So there is a feminine here who was a mother who had a child. And there was some sort of fear. Maybe because this mother, a mother figure, a divine femme, could have been afraid of losing their child. Scared of losing their child. Because there was someone here that was intentionally doing something to cause you to lose your child. That spell work backfired on someone, on this feminine energy who is doing this. It's going to backfire if it has not. Because that could be going on now because it's upright because of what I'm seeing here. So there could have been fear of losing your child. If you're in the upright, even though these are reversed, that's what could have happened. And then what is going to happen is this person's spell work, this um, karmic femme, their spell work is going to be backfiring. Um, this person could be a practitioner of some sort. <clears throat> if this is another person, and it could have been um, another femme, th this femme and not masculine, depending on who this is to you. There was someone here watching to try to prove that you were a prostitute or this person was a prostitute. Like they could have been projecting their feelings. This is like that, the horror, <laughs> horrorish card. And they were sitting back waiting. <clears throat> they could have been waiting on a payday. They could have been trying to blackmail or extort you using some sort of pictures, evidence. They could be sitting back and waiting for the right time to expose something as if it's going to hurt you in some sort of way. So this could be people who like watch your home or something like that watch who comes over to your house who you spend time with <clears throat> i'm also getting that this could be a feminine that was competing with you for a masculine and this mas a masculine that you were in a relationship could have been a whore and this person could have put this feminine up to doing this. Like, this could have been your co-worker. So there was someone who didn't want to be married anymore. Someone married this person. So, <laughs> you could have been an ex. This, this could be an ex-spouse of yours that's connected to this. Someone that you walked away from. And they could have gotten mad and said that you were a whore. Like, that you were a prostitute to get your child, to take custody of your child. <clears throat> and this feminine is connected to this masculine that you were married to. It could also be that this masculine could have married this other feminine. Yeah, because now we have a feminine who's scared <clears throat> about the lies they told. This is the lie card. Someone was really pissed off and they did some shady shit. So, <clears throat> it could have been a husband wanted to leave this woman, this feminine energy, and they got pissed off and did something to be spiteful. There's lies told here about an official person, or this is someone who is pretending to be an official person that tells lies. <clears throat> this person is really dark and crazy, and they think this is funny. <clears throat> to do this to an official person they wanted someone to be out on the street homeless moving around from place to place so they could have wanted you to be homeless like they could have okay so say like you rent somewhere or something like that okay your ex could have been so pissed off at you like if there's like a child custody battle or something like that they could have gone to whoever, like, you rent from. Okay, I'm just using this as an example. It doesn't have to be this exact scenario. <clears throat> so you have, like, a female landlord or something. Okay. They wanted you out on the street. And they were trying to gather evidence so that they could win in a child custody case. Because we have a mother here. Um, we have a feminine energy and a child here. Once again, you're trying to protect your child. You're trying to protect them from whoever these dark people are. So you could be trying to protect them. Um, you could have been living in some sort of fear or they wanted you to be in fear. I'm not saying you were in fear because that's what they were trying to do. But they wanted you to be scared <clears throat> and give up. They wanted you to be homeless, begging out on the street in poverty. This could be the female who's going to end up going into court and lying her ass off. I mean, it doesn't have to be, but that's been coming out where someone's going to court and there's going to be some sort of explosion. And there's been a married couple that keeps coming out. 
there's a masculine energy here that just came out sideways. So they, there is a masculine connected to this in some way, shape, or form. They wanted you to unalive yourself. They celebrated because they thought you were going to unalive yourself. Wow. They wanted you to be in such despair with nowhere to turn, not, nowhere to go, broke, no money. And they were celebrating when they thought they had you backed into a corner to the point where they thought you would suffer from some sort of depression. Like these must be, these people, the entities that this person, these people have attached to them <clears throat> are so low vibrational that they thought that, um, you know, because that's how fear, anxiety operate, right? You have to be in a low vibration for those to have an, an effect on you. And if you're a high priest, priestess, if you've ascended, if you've gone through even a couple, maybe even just one ascension, um, whatever point or level you've reached, it didn't work. So they celebrated too soon because you're not in that vibration while they were trying to invoke some sort of fear or sadness upon you. You know how to use energy transmutation. So you know how to take energy and turn something negative into something positive. So you could be very empathic as well. There's something very shocking about someone that you were partnered up with or that wanted to help you or that you were in a relationship with. Um, this may be shocking to a group of people, to a community. It may be even shocking to you to find out that this person really wanted you to be unalived <clears throat> and could have even gone to the point of paying someone to help them do this to you. This person's shocked because you're being set free from this situation they can't keep you trapped so there's something shocking about you being set free um this could also be someone being shocked about the links that these people went to to keep you trapped because even if you're not shocked and surprised other people would be because this is like novel shit or tv show shit this isn't stuff that typically happens like every day to like normal people so maybe this your story is hard to believe. Maybe you did tell people your story or what people were doing to you and they ignored you, blew you off. They could have even called you crazy and acted like you were insane. Um, <clears throat> and that was the goal here. These people didn't want anyone to believe anything that you said because then they would have to be held liable for the actions that they took against you. So we have someone here, the only way I can say it is resting bitch face. So we have someone here that's just showing no emotion. And it could be you. Um, you're not giving them a reaction. You're just looking at these people like they're nuts because they're the nuts ones. <clears throat> so if they were trying to invoke some sort of reaction or emotion out of you, you could just be looking at them with a stone cold blank face. And that could also be very shocking that you're not showing any emotion. Like typical people, normal people would be scared, be afraid, or that is what their experience is. That's why they do this, because it has most likely worked with other people in the past. So if something works, they keep doing it. <clears throat> you also have no emotion when it comes to this because you know you're going to be celebrating you know something is going to work out in your favor and you've been thinking you've been plotting I, I don't want to say plotting but you've been thinking about every which direction this scenario could play out or what's going to happen to these people you could have been doing some astral travel traveling um you've gotten downloads dreams maybe your card reader whatever gifts you have and secretly you're smiling because even though these people are planning on how to stop you from celebrating or getting something to go in your favor or go your way, you're just, you're not giving them what they want. So even though on the outward, you're not giving them a reaction, but when you think about what's going to happen or you know, like, <clears throat> you know how this is going to end and it makes you smile, <laughs> but you're smiling secretly. Like, you're just calm. Like, you're just chill. And the reason you're so calm and chill 
<clears throat> it's because you know how this is going to go. And it's going to go in your favor. Fear is what it's all about. You cannot sell while undergoing fear. You need to vanquish fear. One must wrestle it to the ground. Yeah, these people wanted you to be in fear. They stole your identity. Identity theft is not a joke, Jim. Millions of families suffer each year, so they tried to take your feet. Um, they were trying to take your identity, use your information, possibly take your life, everything you had. This female could have even been trying to pretend to be you if you're a divine femme, <clears throat> or used your identity in an illegal way to do something to go in their favor. I never let anyone walk behind me. Seven out of ten attacks come attacks come from the rear, and you you may have known this, um, but this person tried to attack you, like your character and your identity, by slandering you, misusing your identity. Um, possibly making false reports, allegations against you, whatever the case, this person wanted you to be in fear, and they were helping this masculine energy, and it has something to do with a child or children. They also used the legal system, so they were trying to scare you and attack you using the court system. I just heard I'll see you in court. So, there's definitely something related to, to the courts that's going to be involved. <clears throat> I would never ever serve you, not in a million years. This person thinks they're better than you. This could be the feminine or the masculine or both of them, okay, that you're going to be seeing in the courtroom. There's going to be some sort of communication that someone's going to be receiving here. Someone could have called. Like, if this is a feminine that is trying to take you to court, this person could have con contacted or called this masculine. Or this masculine could be calling that other feminine and telling them what's going on, what to expect. Um, and when this person gets this call, this message, um, be careful. They could show up at your house. This is another tactic to try to invoke some sort of emotion or fear, especially if you were ever traumatized by this person and you suffered any sort of PTSD. Um, and I apologize for that. Um, <clears throat> be careful. I don't want you to be afraid. Because that would go against, that, that would defeat the whole purpose. Um, you can't be in fear. You need to not be afraid. Um, your brain may not even accept or connect who this is when they show up. Like, this may be so shocking that you may not even, like, even recognize this person, even if they were a significant part of your life. Um, <clears throat> but whatever they did to you... You may not have seen them for months, years, um, you know, a long time. But someone could be showing up randomly out of the blue because somebody was contacting this person. I told you someone's coming back around. <sighs> yep. Let me come back and do some stupid shit again. Um, just be careful about that. Just expect it, okay? Um, and, you know, it'd be better for you to expect it and be prepared mentally, physically, emotionally. Um for this person when they do show up than to not be expecting it and have them show up and invoke those emotions that they're trying to get from you. This person's an energy drain or an energy vampire. <clears throat> Some, it's a literal vampire. Um, and I don't, I'm not saying that lightly. This person could have done some really dark things to you. <clears throat> but whatever the case, um, this person is coming back around, so just be prepared for that. And also, be prepared to not give them a reaction. At all. You need to have that resting bitch face. Because someone didn't get the clean slate, the new start, the new beginning they thought they were going to get. They were expecting to get one, and, it's, <laughs> and if it had to do with your hard work... They're not going to get it. <clears throat> There's a karmic here. This was, this was, even though you had a soul tie to this person, that doesn't mean you have to be with people. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hope people understand that. Just because someone says they have a soulmate or a twin flame, that doesn't mean you have to be with that person. They are meant to teach you lessons. <clears throat> 
they're not all good. You're worried about your financial stability or you have your financial stability and that's a problem for this person because they didn't want you to have a new start or a new beginning. That was not what was meant for you, not by this person, <clears throat> this male man or woman, this queen of swords, this cold ass energy vampire, this cold hearted lion ass bitch had an unsuccessful relationship, so this karmic femme could have hooked up with this masculine, so she could have been very jealous and envious of you, could have lied to get this masculine, they could have ganged up against you, and like I said, they could have even gotten married. <clears throat> she could have also been upset <clears throat> that she didn't get a marriage proposal by this person, this official, unofficial person. So this person may have thought that she was going to get married to this man and he could have left her, like ghosted her, left her at the altar or something like that after finding out she lied. Mm. Someone's about to be pissed off. I came out sideways or someone is pissed off. Very emotional. Someone's not getting their way, they're not getting what they wanted. They also thought that if they got a judgment against you, whoever you are in the upright, they thought if they got a judgment against you and stopped you from having a new beginning, that you would have no choice but to accept an offer <clears throat> from this Hierophant and the Reverse. So this Queen of Swords could have found out that this masculine was just using them to make you jealous, to hurt you, to cause problems for you. There's a lot of conflict going on. You had to fight off a lot of battles. This person left you out in the cold, ghosted you for this person, but they were just using them, emotionally manipulating them to get what they wanted to get you where they wanted you alone and isolated, and they used this female to do this. <clears throat> it was a slippery offer. It was a bullshit offer. This person was never going to get the Ace of Cups, like, ever. The, this was the Page of Cups. This person just used them to help bring all this conflict to you. There's a tower moment. They wanted to stop you from traveling, from moving. So they wanted to keep you stuck. And that was the whole purpose. That's why this masculine even hooked up with this lion ass queen of swords was because <laughs> he, he knew that she would help him and that she was easily manipulated. And, you know, he could have even acted like he was in a full-blown relationship with her, but it was just the Page of Cups. He was never going to give this woman a solid offer. He was never going to give this woman an Ace of Cups. <laughs> so, she might be a little sore, you know? She might be a little upset because she didn't get what she thought she was going to get. And this masculine could be upset because he's not getting what he's going to get. And he went through a lot of trouble to put all this together and orchestrate all this. Like, he really thinks he's like some mastermind. Criminal Minds could be significant. The TV show Criminal Minds. Or a character in Criminal Minds could be significant. <clears throat> Even a specific episode of Criminal Minds could be significant. Yeah. They wanted to create a very emotional situation or you were stuck. Um, because of a very emotional situation, they wanted you to be stuck, unable to travel, and sitting there stewing in your emotions. And we have a king of wands here, and a high priestess. <clears throat> so this could have been you, you could have been the high priestess here, that they wanted you stuck in your emotions, but this could have also been the dark practitioner here. A feminine could have been doing some sort of witchcraft or whatever, or it could even be this king of wands who was a practitioner doing some sort of magic or spell work to create this emotional situation for you. <clears throat> they could both have some sort of, I don't know, alternative um, beliefs and practices. Yeah, someone was juggling. <clears throat> so this, this masculine, this king of wands, was juggling um, a real high priestess with a priest, a high priest is possibly in the reverse. Um, they were juggling a divine femme with this queen of swords and brought bad luck upon themselves. When they were faced with the decision at the wheel, they made a really bad choice. But now this person is going to show up and want to be a... 
in your two of cups I just heard players are gonna play this person didn't change they're using emotionally manipulative tactics this person is still non-committal that's just the energy I'm getting they didn't change but they want you to think that enough time has passed that they did change or they did do the shadow work and they did not I can I can I just heard I can promise you they did not whoever this is <clears throat> That's not how this person operates. They operate in that, even if they're highly intelligent, very smart, and very manipulative, they're still operating on that low, low vibrational stuff where um, that's how they get what they want. They use manipulation. <clears throat> but they left you and they wanted you to be in desolation, left out in the cold. And that's exactly what this person wanted so that you had no other choice. Maybe so that you would have to accept the fact that they were a hoe uh, or a player and they were not going to commit to you. <clears throat> but if you were financially dependent on them, um, they could have assumed that you were codependent and you're not, you're strong. But this person wants you to be their queen of wands. There is some sort of soul connection here, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm not gonna call this person your divine counterpart, I'm just not. Because you're moving and traveling on, but this person wants to have a clean slate, a new start, a new beginning with you. But you're moving to have this clean slate or new start. You're going to be traveling or moving, possibly away or relocating here, to have a new start. This person can't come with you. I'm not going to tell you what to do. You can take this fool back, but you're going to be left looking like a fool and they do the same shit to you. <clears throat> They're lying. They're still a lying ass motherfucker. Jesus. Ace of Swords in the reverse. Big lie. Okay, this person's lying about growing up, going through transformation, maturing. They're still they're still lying about it. They're lying about putting barriers in your path, about putting you in poverty, about breaking up your stable home, about causing you conflict and trying to affect your peace. This, the, he's lying still. He's still lying. Lying about growing up. <clears throat> he's gonna say. He matured. He learned his lessons. He he did the shadow work. He did this, that, and the other. No, he did not. He's lying. Ace of Swords, he, he's lying about all this. Every bit of it. Now, of course, we want to believe people can change, and everyone can change. People can, but they're still lying. He's still lying. I just hope you're smart enough to see through it. And, you know, I have faith that most of you will. But I also know that some of you have that little thing inside of you that still wants to heal people. And that's where you get screwed over. You can't heal someone that doesn't want to be healed. But this person's going to act like they want to be healed, that they've changed, that they, they want to meet you on your level. That's, that's not the case for this person. I'm not saying that's not the case for everybody. Some of you are going to FAFO, fuck around and find out. And um, <clears throat> you're going to end up in a bad situation. Someone was very pissed off. Throwing a temper tantrum. About you having this new start, this new beginning. And they were also pissed off that you weren't, you're not communicating with them. That they can't communicate with you. You could have them blocked. <clears throat> they tried to reach out to you and you ignored them. This could even be them, like I said, coming to your home or something. Um, but you rejected someone's communication and they're pissed off about you having this new start, a new beginning. And what's the first thing that someone wants to do when they've went through so much trouble and they've gone through so much trouble to ruin your life in the first place. The first thing they're going to do is when they hear some sort of good news about something happening for you, they come to ruin that. This person was trying to take something very valuable to you and they didn't value you as a treasure. This was a karmic relationship. So just because y'all have a soul tie does not mean you were meant to be together. This was a risky commitment. It was not worth the risk. This person is very bad. <clears throat> and like I said, this person feels like enough time has passed since the last time that you saw each other or spoke. That you're just going to forget everything that they fucking put you through. And you're just going to forget them. Um, but if you're smart... Um, and you continue to ignore this person, it is going to upset them. Hopefully nothing bad turns from, out from that. 
Um, this person has addictions and obsessions. They could have been addicted or obsessed with you. Two of cups situation. Like, they could be addicted and obsessed with controlling you or locking you down. Maybe even wanting to put a ring on it. But it's because they want to own you. Like, that's, that's just the energy I'm getting. Like, this person wanted to own you. Control you. Rule you. Like, so many people romanticize that shit. <clears throat> you know, even though I have the Labyrinth cards and I love the Labyrinth. You know, um, even in the movie, Jared tells the girl... Let me rule you. Let me let me rule you, and I'll give you everything you want. Like mm, that's not how it works. Like that's that's not the reality of it. Um, but this person wanted to own you, control you. Maybe because you had a treasure. Maybe because you had something of value. Maybe because you have some sort of inheritance or large lump sum of money. But you have something that they want, and they are obsessed with getting you to marry them so that they can get this treasure. Maybe they went broke and they need money. But this person is going to come to you like they're the king of wands in the upright. Like they're your... <clears throat> this person's going to come to you and act as if they are your, like, twin flame. And if, you're, if you don't know any better, you're going to be like, Oh, yes, this is my person I'm supposed to be with. Like, we match each other so perfectly. No, you don't. It's a show. It's a fucking show. It's all show. This person's very manipulative. <clears throat> They've studied people. This person could have even studied psychology. A psychologist could be significant. This person knows how to manipulate. They could be a legitimate psychopath or sociopath. I cannot diagnose anybody. I'm just telling you the facts. Um, this person is good at what they do. And they can turn their emotions on and off like that. Mostly because they've been good at mimicking. So they've learned how to mimic you. They studied you before they were ever in a relationship with you, okay? You were a prey to this person. Like, you you are the one that got away, but not in a good way, okay? This is <clears throat> not in a good way. They left you out in the cold, and you're like, fuck you. They played games with you, okay? They left you out in the cold, and then they thought that that was going to force you to be, like, dependent on them. Like, you would chase after them. And, like, beg them. And that they could, you know, once again, have some sort of control over you. And we have a king of cups. This person wants you to think that they're so in love with you. That they're emotionally stable and balanced. But they're not. They're not. You could even be the king of cups. But if you're the king of cups in the upright, then you are emotionally balanced and stable. And you could just be in your masculine energy. But they left you out. This person left you out in the cold. <clears throat> the knight of wands. Yeah, they left you out in the cold. They didn't communicate with you. They could have even tried to block your communication. Or you blocked them from communicating with you because they left you out in the cold. So you're like, okay, motherfucker, like, I'll show you. Then we have the king of cups and the queen of pentacles here. So you could be good with money, good with finances. This person wants you to believe that they love you, that you're a good match. Um, this could be somebody else altogether. No. <clears throat> There's someone here who's juggling, an official person. There's someone here who's juggling the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. And we have the King of Pentacles. There's a lot of shit going on here now. <clears throat> Give me a minute to see what the fuck where we're at. So these came out sideways. There's juggling. There's an official person who's juggling a queen of swords and a king of pentacles regarding a treasure. And there's a, a stealthy, stealthy ass thief here. Someone who's being ste sneaky, stealthy to get a treasure. They're taking some sort of swift action, but you healed from some sort of heartbreak because they left you to fight a lot of battles on your own. So you're not codependent. This brought a tower moment. Because this person wants to come to you like they love you. <clears throat> and if you're in the upright, you could be the Queen of Pentacles. <clears throat> so you could have gotten some sort of money or you're good with budgeting money, saving money. You know, you're just like, a, you know, you have that Snow White energy. You're like you're, you're like the jack of all trades. Like, you got it all. Okay. You're, you, you're a cool person. You're a good person. Whoever this Hierophant energy is. Either you're the Hierophant, you're the official person, and someone's juggling you with the Queen of Swords. 
or this king of pentacles this masculine energy <clears throat> like they really want to be your divine counterpart <clears throat> but then we have this other masculine so the king of cups could be somebody new altogether so you may have a new love interest or you could be seeing somebody now or you're going to be seeing this king of cups because once again, the King and Queen of Pentacles, like this person is connected to you. There is some sort of soul connection, but I feel like you're not married to this person. You already left this person or they left you. They left you out in the cold, you know, being manipulative, emotional, you know, all that crazy shit. And they're juggling you with Queen of Swords here. And they were using the Queen of Swords to lock you down, to steal this treasure from you. <clears throat> this person does not love you. But they could also be showing back up because you're the queen of pentacles now you may be financially secure or stable or you may have come into some sort of money and you may have a new love interest or this person thinks you are because this queen of swords could have told this masculine that you had a new love interest going on and so of course this person's coming in to c block you you know <clears throat> they don't want you to have this new start, this new beginning. They don't want you to have this new relationship. So this this King of Cups could be a whole new person. That that's a whole different masculine. That's like something that would be new. The King of Pentacles in this case is sideways. I feel like this is gold digger energy though, not like a, you know. And this person is coming out as your your match as like a soul mate, a soul connection, because at one point they were. At one point, they're not anymore. This person's a thief. They made the wrong choice in this lifetime. Whatever whatever they did to you, they meant it. And they're still trying to be a thief. And they're using the Queen of Swords to take this from you. This person did not choose love this lifetime. This person chose a really dark path. And I'm not saying anything about those who do left-handed stuff or have chosen to follow the left-handed path to each their own. I'm not saying anything bad. But this person not only chose, like, a darker path, but chose to do dark things and har hurtful and harmful things to you and tried to manipulate you. And there's there's being two-faced. They're still being two-faced. You had to up your spiritual protection around this person. They want you to be lonely. And you just want to be left the fuck alone. You're not lonely. If you knew what I did, you do. This person was out for revenge. And if you're smart, you're going to miss the trap and cut them the fuck off. They're still driving by your house. They were being spiteful. They caused injustice to you. They were obsessed. They will not let this go. And this person is not using their intuition. You will not be surprised. This person could have been a religious figure. And they have crooked judges in their pocket. And they want you to believe that this is your true love. They're going to invite you somewhere. But this person is not defying their evil. And they blame you for something. And it's because they could have lost their spiritual gifts. There's a whole cult, religious situation, organization here that could have lost their spiritual gifts. And they're confused as to why they did that. How how they did how they lost all the shit. Why their spell work backfired. That's because you missed it. They missed it when they said, I found it again. You really don't know who this person is. They're very manipulative, very shady. This person wants to manipulate you and say, I found it again with you. I love you. Um, <clears throat> this group is confused because they lost their spiritual gifts. Something backfired. When you cut this person off, when you did a return to thunder, whatever you did, when you protected your energy, plus you have a natural protection, okay? Um, the divine loves you, you know? Um, as above, so below. You, ha you have peeps on both sides of the coin here that watch out for you. And you really don't know this person. They really have no shame. They are unapologetic, and they're using legit spell work and black magic, dark magic, like bad shit, baneful shit, um, trying to control you. Um, they don't want you to have free will. They, they want to treat you as if you're a puppet, and they want to be the puppet master. This is not about love. This is about control, power. <clears throat> and if you have a treasure, whether it's money or even your spiritual gifts, whatever the case, this person wants to control how you use them. Um, if you have some sort of gifts, um, this person wants to control how you use it. And they want control of your money if you have any. 
But this was the situation of the blind leading the blind. They really did not have this thought through, planned out. They underestimated you and your protection, your gifts, your love. Someone's going all in. Go for broke. I mean, they could have wanted you broke. Maybe you did go broke, but you're rebuilding. You're working on something. This person could have gone broke and they could need some sort of money. Whether it's, you know, the feminine or the masculine karmic in this situation. They burnt their bridges. Don't burn your bridges in the reverse. This person burnt their bridges with you when they left you out in the cold. Defend for yourself. Sagittarius could be significant. Leo could be significant. Scorpio. Aquarius. Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person went broke because of what they did to you. And if they haven't, they're going to. Someone's about to be as poor as a church mouse. They did not. In, they were not intrigued about you. They didn't want to know more. In fact, well, I mean, in a way they did, okay? They wanted to know certain things about you. They could have even gotten a background check on you, whatever the case but it's to see who you are, what you have, what they can get from you. This person is going to say they're missing you. Now because they're broke. They didn't see that coming. They didn't see that their spell work, their magic, whatever shit they were doing, um, would backfire. And Aries in May. You could be white as a sheet when this person shows up. Or they could be white as a sheet in July. Because someone's all talk, no action, <clears throat> and they're facing judgment. This person is a literal wolf at your door. But they wanted you to forgive and forget what they did. But you're going to be having your moment in the sun, and that's what pisses this person off. Because a whole can of worms is being opened, and the twist of fate is you're coming out of this shit. <clears throat> that was not supposed to happen. That was not the plan. And because you rejected communication, this person is going to literally show up at your door. March is significant. There's a twist of fate in March that no one saw coming on a Friday. Someone was being shady as fuck, and they were pissed off. They judged a book by its cover. I told you, they underestimated you, and they're chomping at the bit. <clears throat> because they faced trials and tribulations. Or they're going to be because of what they did, and they're scared about it. They're, they're scared they're going to have to face the con consequences for what they did. Someone's on a wild goose chase. Someone's trying to send you on a wild goose chase. <clears throat> Especially if they tell you that they love you, they've been missing you. It's all bullshit. Someone went from rags to riches or something significant in the last 24 hours. Someone could have taken a huge financial hit or something needed to be accomplished within the last 24 hours and it didn't happen. Or this is going to be in effect for the next 24 hours. Someone is going to do something that is going to cost them everything. So someone could be going to court, going to trial, facing tribulation within the next 24 hours. <clears throat> so they could have tried to stop you from going to court or pursuing something or speaking your truth in court. Like I said before, even if there's crooked judges, if you have evidence, if you have certain things. Um, yeah, this person that was being as slippery as an eel, they're in trouble. Once again, a Gemini could be significant. You could have told this person not in your backyard. They didn't think that you would see the writing on the wall. Like, they didn't think that you were that smart. They really did judge you by your cover. Like, they really underestimated you. But you know what? Patience is a virtue. This is a father figure. Or a son here. Like father, like son. You could have children with this person. Uh, but you're one in a million. But be prepared. Be prepared. A blast from your past is coming. And this person is sad. They want you to be sad because something didn't work out the way they thought it was going to. And they've been working on this possibly since winter time to try to get something to go to the next level to take control over you take the tiger by its tail and they're going to lose their temper in the spring they're going to lose their shit because they're not ending up happy and there's people talking about this people are talking about this person they're looking at this person they're not looking at them the same anymore they should have counted their blessings and they didn't and then scorpio's on the other side of that so <clears throat> person should have appreciated what they had when they had it instead of lying scheming and manipulating to steal something important from you even if it's just your child like you know like i said a treasure a treasure doesn't have to be something of monetary value 
T could be significant. D. Oh god. I just heard TD Jakes could be significant. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Whatever. I'm just messenger. M. I. <clears throat> Another T. TT something. Name could be TT. Or T. Tia. I. Time's up. So we have two T's and two I's. Someone's being watched. Maybe two people are being watched. B. Bit. Internet, like, make and a third eye. <clears throat> Someone's third eye could be significant. Someone could have been attacking your third eye, trying to keep your third eye from opening. Or trying to block it. P. A blip. Someone's trying to cause blips in your messages. You're trying to distort your messages, your dreams. And A. Whoops. I had A. <clears throat> A pale, like a beach pale or something could be significant. Um, and you. Yeah, so if we had some new signs, I'll pull, I think, four more. A again, so we're getting multiples. AI could be significant. E. K. And you. So I have TDM, TB, P, I, A, U, I, A, U. Oh, wow. Interesting. I, K, E, Ike. Someone's name could be Ike, Mike. Um, some sort of bike could be significant. Um, a trike or a tyke, like a toddler or tricycle could be significant. Maybe somebody just bought a tricycle. Um... Pike, it's like a lake, um, the coffee, or a street. Okay. All right, I hope this helps. Have a good day.